One of the oldest link building techniques out there is directory submission. Now, directory submission gets a bit of a bad rep at the moment. It used to be one of the most effective means of building links to your website, which meant that it was one of the most effective SEO tactics you could conduct. Now, the fact is nowadays, every SEO company, every SEO freelancer, every teach yourself DIY SEO um, is going to be aware of directory submission. So as a consequence, um, it doesn't have the same impact that it might have had maybe two or three years ago. But just because it doesn't have the same impact doesn't mean it doesn't have any impact. It doesn't mean that it isn't still a useful link building technique. So, directory submission, the way I normally treat it is something that I do when I very first launch a site because building up the content and the like to justify editorial links from university sites or from backlinks um, from people who link to your competitors or you know other techniques that you might use um, requires time, whereas directory submission in most cases, you just need a site that's live and functioning in order to get your listing. So it can be a great way to start to build up some good link velocity and really start to show the search engines that you're there and should be indexed. And then the other, the other links are about building anchor text, um, keyword, um, keyword rich anchor text. So um, Google can appreciate the topic of your site or authoritative links so it can see where you need to rank, whereas the directories are a lot more about getting your site fully indexed and um, you know included in the search results, or or just generally just to give you a little bit of a bit of a boost really. Now in this um, screencast, I'm going to take you through some of the main directories, explain their pros and cons, and why you might think about submitting to them. Now, first up is the Yahoo directory. Now. The Yahoo directory is a little bit sickly, I'll be honest, in terms of it is a little bit ignored within Yahoo as an organisation and the policy seems to be constantly changing about where and what countries in the world you can and can't submit to the site. You still can on the American version of the site, so even if you're outside of America I would recommend that that's the way you go about doing it because the, you know, the specific country isn't too important in terms of getting um, the link to your site. Now it's structured like most directories um, in various categories and you'll find that a lot of the categories on the Yahoo directory are replicated on some of the other directories which are a little bit smaller but I always suggest by starting to search the directory and look for your type of business. So maybe you're a personal trainer. This is then giving you um, the results of Yahoo search, which has changed slightly, so they're actually giving it as if it's a personal, um, you know, a search result. So let's do this in a slightly different way. There, okay. So you're going to then browse by the categories. So if we're keeping with the um, the, the um, personal trainer one, we'll go. Okay, well, what's the best of the categories here? Well, it's probably health. So you click on health, and that gives the subcategories of that. So then we've got fitness here. There's one that's off that. being very peculiar the Yahoo directory here. Okay, for some reason there the fitness section isn't working in their directory. Not entirely sure why there, so let's have a look at some other categories that would work here well for a personal trainer. Well maybe this general health one that I was looking at there looks quite good. What else have we got? Weight issues, does that work? That's redirecting you to a search as well. Very peculiar that it's doing that. Um, so let's say that general health is the best one here. That's now doing it as well. Very strange. Um, so yeah, prime example there of the Yahoo directory not really getting the kind of love that it deserves um, from the, the people within Yahoo. But this has now take, um, taken me to the um, general health 
page of the Yahoo directory. Now, this here is giving you subcategories of that, and then the sites that are listed in there. But what I'm interested in, if this is indeed the best category for me to be listed in, is to go down to the bottom right hand corner here where it says suggest a site. Now you can submit your site for free here, but there's no guarantee of when it would be indexed and if indeed it will be indexed in the first case. What you can do is um, Yahoo have a fee where it doesn't guarantee you'll get in, um, but I'm not aware of too many decent sites that haven't got in, and it gives you a guaranteed turnaround within um, seven business days. So that's $300. Um, might Depending on the budgets for how you're promoting your site, it might be a little bit on the pricey side and you go for the free version. But I'd say if you are investing significantly and you spent thousands of pounds designing your website, um, you know, 100 quid here or 200 quid there on getting submitted to the Yahoo directory, which will be a great trusted first, one of the first few links you get to your site, well worth considering there as well. And for the guys who aren't working on brand new sites, do check whether your website's already listed in the Yahoo directory before paying to submit it again, because the last thing you want to do is to pay to be resubmitted and you're already listed in the first place. It might be something one of your predecessors has done as well. So always check that out there. So that's a Yahoo directory. Um, still one of the most trusted directories out there, but not that high on Yahoo's agenda at the moment. So quite often gets neglected. Next up we've got um, what's known as um, ODP, um, the Open Directory Project, which actually sometimes is also known as DMOS because that's the URL, DMOS.org. Now, before Wikipedia, DMOS was the prime example of a kind of user-generated, user-moderated, really useful web resource. And DMOS is actually the, uh, the directory that Google preferred. So it's sometimes known by some people as the Google directory. It's not owned by Google and it's not even really maintained by Google. I think it's sort of supported by AOL. But it's a user generated and user maintained. It has been a little bit neglected over the last sort of four or five years as well. Um, for some reason, directories just aren't getting the attention they deserve really at the moment. But um, DMOS works in the same way as Wikipedia that you can volunteer to be an editor of a category and then you're able to choose which links are approved and aren't approved. Now, some people suggest, um, and used to do quite a lot in the past when Demos had even more importance than it did now, um, volunteering to become an editor of the category most relevant to you, and then adding your link off the back of that so you have the ability to approve it. What I would say is Demos at the moment probably isn't important enough to spend the time that that requires. So what I would suggest is it might take you know six months or so for your links to get approved in Demos, but for something that takes two minutes to submit, and then you just wait and see. If you get a link out of it, all good. If you don't, it was not a huge amount of time that you spent on that. So um, they allow you to suggest a URL um, here. It takes you through, and they have quite a um, DMOS or OD, ODP have quite a rigorous process they go through in terms of approving your website. So although, <coughs> although there's a lot of information here, I would say always read through it because um, it will really help you understand. But to actually submit your site, you have to um, choose the category. So if we're sticking with our personal trainer one, let's go to fitness. They actually have a personal training subcategory of that where there's 66 sites off that. <coughs> They then also have specific country ones. So say I'm in the United Kingdom here. So this is a list of personal trainers in the United Kingdom. But if I go back up to the top again, it says suggest URL. If I do that, that will then get me to suggest a URL in this particular category. Um, it's relatively straightforward. Again, lots of information. Um, do read it because if you don't you might do something wrong and then you won't be listed and being that it takes so long to get listed in DMOS well worth making sure you get it right the first time so they ask for your URL they ask the title of your site and they are you, you might try and you know your gut SEO instinct might be to include some keywords here I wouldn't bother just put the company name because they get a bit funny as well site description keep it brief Probably the meta description of your homepage might um, might be suitable for this, but try and tailor it to exactly what they're after. Your email address, then they've got a capture. 
So, you have to bear in mind that um, it might take a period of time, but DMOZ is pretty well trusted as well. And the other benefit of DMOZ is that it's widely scraped and republished. So, if you can get listed in DMOZ, um, you will find that you can be republished on other websites. But what I will say is don't spend too much time worrying about getting listed in DMOZ because it might never happen. But for the sake of five minutes reading through the pages and submitting your site, well worth the effort there from an SEO point of view. One directory that is still really maintained, is still really popular and well worth investing some time in <coughs> is business.com. It's probably a little bit more American centric, but it kind of can be applied no matter where you're based in the world. Now, there is a fee for um, business directory and it works far more like a traditional yellow pages, but you potentially will get some traffic from those links. And I know that they also have quite a lot of potential to pass value as well. So business.com. Again, find your category, so let's keep with the personal trainer, so I've got healthcare. And then they've got it into their subcategories here, like medical uniform and all these kind of things. So let's go into healthcare, maybe it wasn't the best category then for on this one. Let's go for, let's browse the directory and have a look. Okay, so what categories have we got here that work best? Okay, maybe healthcare is the best. And then they have the option here to list your business here. So if I click, click your business here, it takes me through to a form where it asks for my details. There is, again, a cost here. Um, it's $299 again, but it's an, an a recurring fee. So unlike the Yahoo one that's a one-off, you do have to um, pay for it each year. Again, particularly in the US, I think it's probably almost certainly worth being listed. If you're outside, have a look around, see what you think you can do with that money. But I think probably a reasonably sensible investment in terms of directories anyway. And then finally, there's all kinds of sort of lower tier free directories out there, which maybe aren't that trusted, but um, you know are a great way of getting your site indexed and starting to build up a little bit of equity in your site. Different links will do different things. Not every link is going to be authoritative. Not every link is going to have great anchor text, but you need to be building up a momentum of good relatively trusted links and directory submissions are a great way of doing that there's hundreds of these types of directories here's just one um, linkcenter.com um, but there's loads of them out there literally hundreds now a lot of directories will sell themselves based on their page rank and yes that's a good shorthand to assess the relative value of a link from a directory but don't get too obsessed by it what i actually think is the best way of it, assessing whether a directory is worth submitting to is having a look at it <clears throat> Does it look like a well-trafficked, well-designed, um, well-maintained website? If it does, submit to it. If it looks a bit spammy, is absolutely full of AdSense, I'd probably steer away from those ones. So, <clears throat> directory submission, you know, not the only link building tactic that you're going to need to do, but a very cost-effective, time-effective and quick way of building links to your website. So as long as you're not relying only on directory submission, I think it's a vital, a vital part of any link building campaign.